Welcome back to another edition of Fly Tying with Jim Ashura. Today I'm going to tie a caddis flimp. This is uh, going to be on a size 20. This hook is a it's a size 20, but it's a three extra long, kind of has a drop off there. But I'm using that because I'm going to have a little bit more hook to hook the fish with, and you can see there is the caddis itself this is going this is a going to be a garbage bag cdc flimph i'm going to use 16 op vivas thread get down on these really tiny with these really small flies you want some really thin thread i'm going to bring that thread back just to where it's going to start to bend almost to the point of the hook I'm going to use a light gray or a light natural CDC feather it'll take you a few to select the right feather I'm going to take this I'm going to draw this all up here take you it'll take you a few to get this down I'm gonna even pull a little bit more so I have maybe about half of this feather I'm going to tie this in at the tip You don't want a whole lot of uh, wraps of thread. I'm going to take this. I'm going to put my hackle pliers on there. We're going to turn this. This is what we're going to use for the body. I'm going to tie that off there I don't want to get the uh, the loose CDC feathers in there you get a couple of them but you don't want to catch a lot of them put a couple of wraps in front just want to kind of clear that way there now I have the tan grocery bag this is just the section of a tan grocery bag and here I have it a strip cut and again you kind of have to uh, just experiment a little bit with the width of it but I'll show you the down here when you pull it it's gonna kind of change color there you can see that different color and for such a small fly as this I'm gonna go ahead and this is the side I'm gonna tie in I'm gonna pull that I'm going to pull that pretty skinny and this is where I'm going to tie it in because that pulled section is easier to tie in than uh, the unpulled section I'm going to go ahead and put this on and I'm going to kind of sweep the CDC back out of the way at the same time Get a couple of wraps and I want to bring all of that up on top have all of the uh, grocery bag on top I'm gonna give it a couple of tight wraps to secure it before you cut it you can move that around pretty easily I'm gonna go ahead and trim that off get that down there tight have that little tag on there I'm going to take it and I'm gonna kind of fold it in half 
and I'm going to trim that to the length I want. And for this one, I want to cut it just about at the bend of the hook. I want to be want that those fish to be able to see that wing. We have a nice shape caddis wing there. Just wrap down that tag in. I'm going to take my hackle pliers again. And I'm going to give this a couple of wraps. I'm going to hold that wing in, in place because you could pull it over to the side easily. I'm just going to give this a couple of wraps. Kind of brush everything towards the rear as you do it. I'm going to tie that down. Keep that thread tight on there when you take your pliers off. Try to get a wrap or two in front. Go ahead and trim that stem. Get that down nice and tight. I'll take all of that CDC and pull it towards the rear and make a head on there. I'm going to go ahead and give that a whip finish. I believe these are Tempco hooks. Tempco hooks. Uh, someone gave me these. So I don't know the exact hook they are. And now we have all of this extra CDC on there. We could just go ahead and break that off. And I'll break that off the sides. You could leave them a little bit longer than uh, the wing. My fingers are uh, not working that good. I'm going to trim them, but you want to kind of just trim them at different lengths so they're not, so they don't really look cut off if you're going to use scissors on them. You can even leave a, a couple long ones. On there it'll look like the shuck the like the whole purpose of this is you want it to look like it's coming out of the shuck this might be a good fly or will be a good fly when uh, you see them porpoising but they don't really want to take on top they're taking stuff that's like just under the film I think this will be uh, a good good uh, match for that let me widen that out a little bit. I like to kind of flatten the wing down. And that wing looks a lot like the wing of a caddis when it is in the on laying on top of the water. The caddis wings when they're just drying, they're kind of stuck in there and their wings are like laying flat right on the surface when they're trying to get out of the water, out of the surface. I'm going to take just a little bit of head cement, put a little dot on there. If you get any in the eye, run a, a feather through it, a feather stem through it, or at the very least, take your bodkin needle and uh, get it with the bodkin needle. And here we have a size 20 CDC garbage bag caddis. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Leave comments, questions, suggestions, 
and most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.